Hi, I'm Ranger Bob. We're here preparing for August 21st total eclipse of the sun. First, what you have to do is just take your shoebox and with one of the smaller ends, cut a piece of paper to fit on the inside wall. So there's not much great science here, but just an approximation. This will be the screen of a little studio that we're going to build inside this shoebox. And just with some tape, affix the white sheet of paper or an index card to the inside of the shoebox. The next step is to cut a couple of holes in the opposite side of the shoebox. Try to get the holes as close to the corner of the box, not central. And it needn't matter that it's neat at all. There's my first hole, and a similar one on the other side. Across either of these holes, you will then take a piece of aluminum foil, and just tape the piece of foil outside the box without putting any tape on the middle of the piece of foil that is over the hole. Then feeling where the hole, where the uh, hole in your shoe box is, you can use a piece of uncooked spaghetti or a nail to puncture a hole right through the foil. And it is through this hole that we will allow sunlight to pass. But then on the day of the eclipse, at the time of the eclipse, what you do is you allow the sun to hit you on the back and you arrange yourself so that your head is not blocking the hole in the foil, but allow the sunlight to go into that hole and with your eye you will see the image of the sun when you get it positioned in the right alignment. You will see a white circle of sun. Then as the moon transits in front of the sun during the eclipse, you will be able to see the silhouette of the moon passing from right to left in front of the sun. So whether it's with eclipse glasses, uh, a spaghetti colander allowing the sun to shine through, or a shoebox eclipse theater, please practice safe observing practices when you enjoy this, this August's eclipse.